G'day friends, welcome to Tag Tuesday. Today's tags are made on this Strathmore watercolour paper I got from Target. I punched the holes out with this We Are Memory Keepers punch, which can honestly punch through anything. And I'm using all these little bits and pieces, uh, collage elements from the latest collage sheet that I did for my golden birthday, that kind of special that I released. The um, collage sheets 5678 is what they're called in the Etsy store. And side note, I didn't mention this before, <laughs> um, but they are a special offer and you can get them for 27 days after I release them. So I probably should have mentioned that from the start, but basically August 3rd is when I'm going to deactivate them from the shop. So if you want to get yours, get yours now before August 3rd, uh, because that'll be 27 days after. And that's basically, this is the day we come back from Japan. So I'll, I'll remember, hopefully. Um, <laughs> but yeah, 27 days afterwards, you've got to get them. It's 27 collage elements for 27 bucks, which is, uh, it's basically an assortment of all my favorite little bits and pieces from my journals. So that Starbucks watercolor cup, I love that. And I did that ages ago and that was totally outside of my journal. It was just a standalone piece that I did for a Miranda Priestley thing that I was doing ages ago, but I love it. And that resurfaces everywhere. If you've got my book, you'll see it on the last page of the book too. So that's in there. This little Alice drawing that I'm coloring in right now, it's Alice in Wonderland, but as with anything that you print out or you're, you know, you're working on in mixed media, you can change it up. So I thought I wanted to have her coming out of that Starbucks cup and have her be, you know, the spirit of a coffee bean. So <laughs> I gave her some gorgeous chocolate skin and um, I made her green hair and green outfit. And it's just, it's, it is what it is, you know what I mean? They're just collage elements. So they can be anything you want to be. And yeah, there's 27 pieces. Go and check it, check the listing out if you're just curious to see what's in there. And uh, if collage isn't your thing, that's totally cool. Honestly, I didn't collage ever, really. I got into collage maybe two years ago, and uh, now I love it because it eliminates a lot of steps for me. And it also, uh, I think it makes your work a little more quirky because some of the elements I'll force myself to integrate or I'll, I'll have them there and I'll try and find a really bizarre way to put them in. So not what they're intended for or, um, yeah, I think it, it brings that whimsical element to your work without really having to do much. You know, I'm all about the cheating. So <laughs> I think collage elements are great. And I think what's super special about these is I love seeing them pop up in everyone else's journals because there's something that I've done and I know the story behind them, but I love to see how other people interpret them. This was literally a, a concept sketch for She Leapt Off The Page, which was honestly, I think, I loved this sketch more than I actually loved the one that I did. I mean, I love the one that I did too, and I love that whole project, but this one was just so loose and so sketchy and yeah, I just, I had to put it in there. I gave it a nice sepia tone in the, in the collage sheet. So I thought it would look like a really beautiful, uh, just a really beautiful sketch. And I've got my acrylics out now that I've got this, you know, space like my desk and a designated studio space, which I've had for a while now, but you know, if you're new to the channel, Hey, I'm James. Um, I used to work, uh, in the lounge room and I used to bring everything out from my room and then put it all back and then bring it out and put it all back. And trying to film was just a nightmare. So now, and I would be really discouraged from using anything that was a bit of a hassle to set up because it had already taken me so long to set everything up anyway. And I knew cleaning it up would be a hassle. So I kind of stay away from any wet media inks, paints, anything really. I think I was just using like anything that was easy <laughs> to be honest. Um, this head that I just cut off, she's a part of a little fairy that is uh, in one of my favorite pieces at the moment. I can't even explain to you, it doesn't have a name, but I'm sure if you go through my Instagram, you'll find a lot of these uh, in their original forms on Instagram. But I took a photo of the fairy as I'd done it, and then she became her own, like, you know, she's sitting in the palm of another fairy's hand, it's, it's a whole thing. But, what was cool is that I'd already taken a photo of it before I'd done that, so I kind of had the original, and uh, I've toyed around with it some more and used it in other ways, but I thought I'd include that in the collage sheets because I, I just love it. I think she's really sketchy and cute and whimsical. My favorite thing to do at the moment is to sketch in pen and leave in a lot of the construction lines. I feel like it's a lot more, um, I don't know, it's a lot more interesting to me to see what people do to map out their face or what lines they like to have to, to get the construction right. You know, just bits and pieces like that. Here's an unfinished page from my journal that I just cropped into a square. Uh, I love her, the curvy mermaid, and I, her hair's really interesting too. So I thought in this tag, I would literally just finish 
finish the page on the tag. So, uh, you know, nothing groundbreaking with that one, but just an interesting way to use some of the collage elements. If uh, some of them look unfinished, then I think it really it inspires you to finish them or see what you like to do with them. I don't know. I love the collage sheets. I've got a bunch of other collage sheets too, but I was just meaning to mention that if you were interested in getting the birthday, the golden birthday special, then uh, my, my golden birthday is on the 27th of July for everyone that was asking. I'm gonna be in Japan for it. And yeah, so 27 on the 27th of July, there are 27 collage pieces for 27 bucks. They'll be out for 27 days. I couldn't think of any other way to integrate the number 27 into this whole deal. Um, so yeah, grab them if you want. And if you've already got them, I can't wait to see what you're doing with them. I just, the collage sheets are new for me. I, uh, I ummed and art about it and kind of tossed and turned about it because, you know, a lot of our artwork in our journals is kind of personal or, I mean, I don't think a lot of mine is secret. You know, I don't, there's nothing I don't really want to show if, unless it's just, you know, not finished or not really nice. Um, but even then I'll probably show it, but you know, it's, it's a sensitive subject for a lot of people, maybe monetizing their art or yeah, putting it out there for public consumption or people maybe don't like to see derivatives of something that is, you know, close to them or personal for me because of what I learned about art journaling was through YouTubers and through, you know, Jane's videos on YouTube and anything Tim Holtz had posted on social media and Diane Reevely, um, Dina Wakely, a lot of, and you know, nowadays I'm still learning, you know, Courtney over at Little Raven Inc, Ali Brown, a girl with a journal by Bun, like everyone that I'm still learning off of, I think because they put it out there, um, I'm super encouraged to put it out there as well and um, give other people the opportunity to learn from me what I've been given the opportunity to learn from them. Does that make sense? It sounds super long-winded, but um, but yeah, so I like to also offer this stuff because, you know, I, I of, of course I put the work in there and, you know, most people are pretty good about giving credit where credit's due, but you know, it, for me, it's not about that. It's it's encouragement. I want people to feel like they've got a good place to start if they want to have a collage piece, if they want to learn something about hair and they want to just trace over the bits that I've done, or, you know, if they're just looking to tweak their style a bit and maybe want to piece in parts of what I've been doing. That's how we all learn. So I love to just put it out there for that reason, just because I think it's super helpful. Um, and it, to me, it's more, you know, I'm gonna say rewarding. It is definitely rewarding to see it out there, but I think it's more important for me to be encouraging in that manner and less about, uh, you know, less worrying about what people might do with it or how they're gonna interpret it. Or I'm not super protective over the artwork. Obviously we all have our own business interests in mind and you know, copyright infringement is no one, no one wants to go there. So we don't wanna to have to deal with it. But at the same time, that's why I choose to release these as well. And uh, I encourage people to photocopy them and, you know, play a ton with them. If people have bought my orange bags, I want people to photocopy them and use them over and over again. If people have bought the book and they want to photocopy pages from that and use them and, you know, collage bits out of that, I totally encourage that as well. Because it's all a learning experience, you know, and most of us are just doing this just for fun or art therapy or, you know, for something to do with our kids or <laughs> our kids, like I have kids. <laughs> But you know, some of us are just doing it, uh, you know, we're not trying to turn a million dollar profit out of this, no one's really trying to get that serious out of it, uh, that serious with it, so yeah, that's why I just like to put them out there and I'm not so worried about, uh, you know, monetizing the art or giving it to people to use or giving away tips or secrets maybe. There are some things I'll hold on to because it's, you know, it's a business interest, but for the most part, like, I'm really not that precious about handing over, you know, a digital copy of, of this little sketch. If I want to do the sketch again, I'll do it. And I don't typically get, uh, you know, worried that people are, you know, what if these people take that style and go and sell it? Like, you know what's wrong and you know what's good. But at the same time, I believe in a bit of a healthy competition. So uh, I've definitely followed people on social media and watched them grow at exponential rates. And I think it just makes me want to push it even further. Uh, I've got a, a lovely lady that follows me in my group and she's on Instagram. Her name is Olga and um, she just does amazing fashion looking faces <laughs> and I've been watching it for about a year now and just go and check out Olga Langen art it is 
unbelievable the journey that she's been on and the progress that she's made and it's all just from practicing I mean you know it's it's all from looking at references on YouTube it's all from looking at pictures on Instagram and you know picking up a skill picking up a skill there and here and there I think I'm getting way too deep with it all but my point is I love to put it out there because I love people to use it and be inspired to to take their own stuff further and I love people to use this stuff as jumping off points I also love to see it reincarnated in a million different ways I love to see how people's brain work uh, brains work in that respect because obviously the you know the way I plan something out and the reason I drew something isn't gonna be the way someone else will interpret it and uh, and I can get my own inspiration from that too so yeah, just keep an eye on everyone on social media. You let it be your encouragement. Don't let it be something that that gets you down. Uh, don't be unhappy for anyone's successes. Encourage them, push them even further, and, uh, and let that drive you too. I've heard this quote before, and I honestly can't remember where it came from, but we've all got the same 24 hours in a day, and, you know... I know a lot of people <laughs> could pick that apart and say, well, I've got a busier day than some, and that's true as well, but we all have the opportunity to learn and grow, and uh, and we're all going to do it in a different way because every one of us is different, and we all function different, we all like the look of different things, you know, we, are, we aren't all together in this creative community saying, you know, we all love the colour palette pink, blue, and yellow. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's always going to be different because we are different. And uh, just be encouraging, keep putting all those good vibes out there. If you've got a skill or a tip that you want to share, share it. You know, there's, you're just going to make people happy. Like, they're <laughs> just going to grow. And maybe you've uh, picked up tips and tricks and techniques that, that, you know, you wouldn't be where you are now without someone having shared that with you. So, yeah, that was a long, long rant about collage sheets. But basically, I just wanted to know that I wanted you guys to know that I do enjoy putting them out there for a multitude of reasons. And uh, and if you guys are worried that I'm ever going to come down on you and tell you you can't do that with that, I'm I'm absolutely not. You know, uh, everything's pretty self-explanatory in the listing too. Like if you want to use it for something licensed or you know something that you think would be copyright infringement then uh, you're more than welcome to contact me. And I've totally let people use things for, you know, handmade greeting cards before. Some people have contacted me about getting tattoos done before and all that stuff I'm totally cool with, you know? It, it's a conversation and it's so easy for me to give an answer. And, you know, it, if, you'll never know if you don't ask. So push yourself, push yourself to do amazingly creative things. And uh, if you're encouraged or you're inspired to make your own collage sheet and set up an Etsy store, just go for it. There's honestly no one stopping you. Steve was saying something before. Um, uh, the answer is no if you don't try. Do you know what I mean? Like, you, you're not going to get anything if you don't actually try for it. So, if, you're, if it's even in the back of your head, uh, something like Etsy and putting up a collage sheet, I'll say Etsy takes a really small fee um, compared to some other sites that you could use. I, uh, I, I've enjoyed using Etsy. I think it's great. Um, and something digital kind of is there by itself. You, there's no maintenance for it. You don't have to do an inventory for it. So if you're umming and ahhing or tossing and turning about making your own collage sheets, just go for it. Um, you know, even if it's one person that grabs it and uses it in their art, art journal and they love the look of it, then you've helped that one person grow in their, in their journey and in their creativity. So I think it's totally worth it. And um, don't be discouraged. Another great piece of advice I could offer is uh, don't spend too much time watching other people. Uh, obviously, I like you watching these videos. <laughs> I'm not telling you to switch my channel off. Please don't. Um, no, but don't don't be too focused on anyone else's growth or too focused on uh, anyone else's journey if it's going to take you off of yours. If uh, you know, I loved watching Olga grow. And I love encouraging her to do more and to put more out there and share more because, you know, that's where she's at and she's put in a ton of effort and a ton of work and it's just, it's really gratifying to see that. So, um, yeah, but if, if it was going to hurt your creative process in any way or you were going to be discouraged by it, then make sure you're just focusing on you and where you're at and how far you've come. Anyway. I went on for like 20 tangents there, but I hope there was some useful information. Here are the close-ups. I'm going to stop talking. Have a fantastic week. I'm off to Japan next week, so uh, <laughs> hopefully there'll be some more videos and some scheduled ones while I'm away. Enjoy your day, guys. Bye.